Hi guys, Dirk here. Hey, listen, before you get any further, um, I, I want to press upon you how, how important it is to work on you, because that's the way it is. Um, why are 2% are of the people so very, very successful and the other 98% not successful? What, what is the difference? What do they do? And what can you do to go towards the 2% and not stick with it? 98% I can tell you what I've, uh, I have done and how, how it works for me I'm not saying this is the truth it worked for me and I've seen it working for a lot of other people um, I would say that there, there, there are a few ways to overcome uh, certain obstacles and uh, let's say five one of them is you have to recognize and get rid of your your old patterns the, the patterns that that you um, well, that leads you to failure. Sounds really dramatic, but it is, does it? If you say this is not important, then I ask you strongly, how much do you earn and are you very, very successful already? Probably not, because you will not watch this video and look at my face. Um, listen, even for me, uh, it's, it's, it's still a daily task to, uh, to, to deal with this stuff. Why? Because uh, I believe that a human being is never, uh, never there. Uh, what I mean by that, um, you're never too old to learn. You, you're never too old to grow. You're, you're never there. And it sounds maybe oh, you're never there, but it's great because you can, you can, you can grow as a person. So, um, besides that, if you you have to recognize your your your. Um, your old patterns that that lead you to failure, and if you um, and let me first say all, all the all the things, and then I'll, I'll name them afterwards again. Um, besides that, you have to master your emotional state. And what do we mean by that is, uh, listen, I I know a lot of people. I see a lot of people around me. Maybe they have a, an argument with their spouse or, or with their staff or with with, with whatever. Something happened, something bad, and they they are off for days emotionally the, they, they cannot market they cannot really function and they are not productive if that's the case with you it, it is it's very difficult to get to, to be successful to get the money you really want um, because you're out of business for a few days so you have to master your emotional state there no worries there, there are a lot of tricks for that and um, back to that later as well your emotional state uh, that's your heart but it's also very important that you know how your brain works what what does your brain do what do you remember what what not and and why does it work in certain ways um, next you master your fear fear is a a a, a ooh, Fear is one of the great things that, that will stop you from getting anywhere. I mean, if you you fear and you're paralyzed and you, you're not reacting, you're not uh, doing anything, nothing will happen. How does it? Okay. All these things, there's one at the end. You have to set a very clear goal. Bigger goal. A, uh, how do you say it? A lofty goal. Um... Your goal has to be be bigger. Uh, your goal has to be bigger than your fear. You understand? Um, I think it's a nice time to tell a story. I think it's from Bob Proctor. Um, I read a story about how uh, there's a plank, a big plank, and uh, somebody asks you, you would you cross this plank, walk over it to the other side, to the end, for twenty bucks. Would you do it? Just laying here on the floor, and uh, yeah, of course, twenty bucks easy, yeah, twenty bucks in the pocket. Now the same plank, up about three hundred feet. Can you say that? Uh, let's say between two skyscrapers. Same plank, just as wide. Twenty bucks. Would you do it? Probably not. There's the fear factor. Very high in the sky, wind blows, fair factor. Now imagine that the 
Maybe you're a parent. Let's say you're a parent. You have kids, or try to imagine it's your kid. Your kid is in the other on the other building. You're here. You got a plank. Your kid is on the other side. And the skyscraper on the other side is on fire, so it's burning. You see what I'm getting at? Um, your goal is bigger than your fear. Because damn, you will cross that plank to save your kid. So these um, these five obstacles, uh, ways to, to, to overcome these uh, obstacles to, to get successful, uh, you have to master them. I'll, I'll tell them a, a few more. Uh, t today, let's say I uh, I finish this video today, and I I tell you I talk to you about the uh, your patterns, your patterns that will that will that will the patterns you have now that apparently lead you to failure. You have to change them. And how can you do that? Well, um, f first of all, is <coughs> sorry, it's very important that you you recognize them. So take the time and sit with yourself, and 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 um, it's great, isn't it? The birds everywhere. It's springtime in Holland, and uh, it's beautiful. By the way, we're sitting in the restaurant, uh, in the garden of our of my restaurant. It's Monday. We're closed, and uh, so I've got the space for myself. Lovely. I love it. Um, listen, um, the the petals. At one point, you have to recognize the patterns that, that doesn't that don't work for you. It's very simple. Um, recognize them and say, "Hey, this pattern it just doesn't work for me anymore. It should go." And just tell yourself, "Hey, this does not work for me anymore. Go away." And replace the pattern with a thought or an action that does work or when you think it works if it turns out it does not work either you can do it again but um, that I believe you can find a pattern that will work for you but recognize the old pattern that does not work for you and replace them for something new you have to replace them because if you do not replace them consciously um, the old ones will keep coming back and nothing has changed so think about that um, point two I pointed out was ma master your own uh, emotional state. Uh, what I mean by that is you you have you have uh, your emotional state. You you have certainty. Um, listen, I'm, if you try to sell something, uh, marketing on on uh, online, uh, and you're not sure, you're not hundred percent behind your product product how can you sell it <coughs> there's no way you can sell it I mean, nobody will believe you um, so so you have to have certainty and you have to be enthusiastic about your product um, you know all the emotional states that's light happiness certainty um, um, uh, happiness <laughs> there will be more I cannot think of it enthusiastic, uh, positive, you know, all these things, that, that is in, 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 sale, in sales, um, um, you, can, you can put it in your personal life, and then I will talk more about, about happiness, uh, kindness, loving, you know, stuff like that, and you have the, the conversion, on the other side, you have greed, jealousy, um, hate, you know, but all these depressions that will bring you in a state of pooh, and you will not think so. You see, you, if you talk about gay, you go like this. <laughs> if you have happiness, lightness, kindness, it's hey, hi, welcome. Welcome to our product, to our team. And uh, that's, in my opinion, that is a lot uh, a lighter way of, of living. And that's what we want. Stress, problems. Avoid we really all these uh, uh, negative things. You have to avoid. Um, I, I was just thinking what we talk about uh, just in the, in, the, in the, before this about the, the old patterns. Um, I want to go back to that a little bit. 
one very important thing is that um, the word shoot should not be in your vocabulary. <laughs> Get it? Shoot. Because, yes, I should have done this, I should do this, I should do that, but in the, in the end, you, you're not doing it, do you? So, and also with the word try. Um, are you gonna try to do your shoelaces or are you gonna try to, you know? Try, you do it or you do not. Period. Um, and old patterns, um, your history, don't be afraid of your own history. All your mistakes, all your failures, that will be your greatest assets. Try to think of that. It's your story. It what brings you here today. It what it what it, it is what makes you make this decision. If you did not have a past, if you did not make any mistakes, there will not be a drive to go any further. You get that? So don't 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 worry about your 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 past. It's today. It's today what counts. Every day there's a brand new morning with brand new chances. And with problems. Oh that's another word. Forget problems. Call them challenges. You know, I wanna tell the word problems also out of your vocabulary. Take them call them challenges. But if you go back and call them problems again, how do you can transform from problems to challenges? Is if you have a problem that means that you're really in it. A challenge you can see from further away. So you have to make it from further away. Imagine if you have a, a struggle, a problem that you're in the air, you're lifting up, try to see it from above. But while you go up and up and up, you go through clouds and storms and thunderstorms and wind and turbulence. But then there comes a point that you go above the clouds. And what is above the clouds? Sunshine. Quiet. You can see what happens. Understand? Very, 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 very important. Then it becomes a challenge. And then you can figure out how to deal with it. Okay, listen, this is what happens. This is what's going on. How can I deal with it? Who do I need? Where do I go? Do I need people, organization? Whatever. And you solve the problem. It's become a challenge for you. Yeah, you see it? I did, it worked for me. Because sometimes like, oh, boo. And like, hey, let's look at this. I'll tell you my story in a different video. Um, where I come from and but damn, there were big problems. And then at one point I thought, okay, it's enough. I heard this, I read this as well. I tried to see it from above. I thought, oh, okay. Let's say it's not me, but something else. And it was easy to uh, to solve, actually. So That's uh, just in between. Um, think about how your, how your brain works. Um, very, 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 very important. Because uh, your brain, uh, listen, comes in here and it doesn't go out here. It comes in here, um, your, your mind will uh, your mind gets so much information every, 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 every day. Um, your hair is growing, your fingernails are growing. It doesn't think about that. I mean, if imagine if you thought about that. Come on. So, what your brain does, all this information comes in, and what your your brain is thinking of, what finds it very very important, is um, that will filter it out. You know. So, if your thoughts are very down, and negative, you will see the down and negative things. That's the result you will get. You can you can trigger your brain, and. Um, By feeding it every day, reading right the right books. And what are the right books? Books that help you grow, that make you think positive. I mean, don't forget your goal. Your goal is to to earn money, yeah, to get wealth, to have a better life. Maybe it's not even it's not even money, but to have a better life. My my goal is very clear. 
I wanted I want to make more money you know uh, to buy the things that made my life a lot more fun and uh, so we are able to go on holidays when and wherever we want um, and spend time with my kids and my wife very basic things but it makes me happy but those things cost money and if I have a restaurant where I have to work for 90 hours a week I do not have time for that meaning if I make my money in a different way I can still have a restaurant because it has a romantic feeling of it but listen if you're not depending on the money comes from out of it it's a quiet day Okay, then it's a quiet day. No worries. You see? No stress. So, if you read the right books, and the right books meaning feeding your brain with a positive thoughts, uh, direction directed to, your, to, to wealth, um, if you um, um, I go a step further. You have to write down your goals. You have to write them down with a specific date. Really with a specific date. You will never change your goal because that's what you want. You can change the date in the end, if you don't, no worries. But you, you write down your goals with a specific date and also be very specific in how you uh, think to get to that goal I mean you will probably not have the perfect answer okay you need this and this and I will work with that and that person and I need this company to get this and this and this towards that goal um, I mean that's what you want if the date's there and you're not there yet don't panic just set the date you still know what your goal is um, If you write it down and read it twice a day, early in the morning when you get up and just before you go to sleep, read it out loud. On that and that day, I will have this and this and this. And da, da, da. You're feeding your subconscious mind um, with your goal. Automatically, your mind will be opened up for opportunities that come to life. Um, listen, you want a seven figure income yeah, you want a seven figure oh, I want a seven figure income but your mind is not there I mean, you're not feeding it in that direction there will be a seven figure ID coming into your mind and you will not see it it will be deleted and it's gone so here's what you do write your goals down um, with specific date with be specific as possible and if you read it out loud, try to feel it. Really put emotion in it, just not uh, blah, 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 blah. No. Oh, uh, on, 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 in, in three months, let's say it's the 1st of June, I want to have uh, $20,000 on my bank account, and I'm sitting here in a garden, uh, and, and it's nice weather, it's, I feel the warmth of the sun, and, uh, and, and, and I smell freshly baked songs and and, uh, and and this morning and open my 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 laptop and locked into my e-wallet and there's fifteen thousand dollars on it. I'm I'm thrilled. I'm happy. I, I made my goals and you know to celebrate because you have to celebrate every 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 little success you make. We're gonna book a holiday to Thailand. Spend three days, three weeks, three days, three weeks on the beach. You know you get the feeling of it. You have to live it, feel it. You really, really have to desire it. Um, and you have to deal with your fears. That's what was one of the points, wasn't it? Um, you don't have to to uh, uh, don't deny your fears that there, but you have to you have to to um, to work with it. You can you can. Um, you can benefit from your fears as well, you know. 
The story I told you about the plank. Um, for me, it works. It, it will set your goals bigger. You have to make your goals ah uh, big. And then it scares you a little. If if your goals do not scare you, they're not big enough. It's it. Set big goals. You can do it. I I believe that. But before you go any further, go in any opportunity, maybe you want to join our team. I tell you, take the time. Um, I've seen this happen so many times that, 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 that people will run from A to B. Opportunity, opportunity. And say, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It will never work until you work on you. So don't forget that. If I can do anything for you, you need help, you know how to contact me and I um, will be more than happy to help you then. But listen, you have to take action and uh, you have to work on yourself and, and, and you have to take massive, massive action. Very important, set your goals. Set your goals and read them out loud twice a day. And things will start to change. I mean, I'm not guarantee you, guaranteeing to you that you will be wealthy and rich and all that. But once you start working on yourself and developing yourself, you will stretch. And once you stretch, you will not able be to go back. That's for sure. Okay, guys, this is it for today. So your assignment is very clear. Write down your goals. Read them out loud twice a day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.